side mentioned one hundred and eighty-eight thousand dollars that was paid, and the question of whether that included severance. Can you clarify that for us? Um, yes. Well, it was our. It is our contention that um, including in the damages should be severance pay for Mark Menzies. Um, the other side is saying that the pension payout included the severance. Um, but that should be a matter for the court to decide. How much are your clients asking? Um, he's actually asking for general damages for wrongful termination. I mean, there are a lot of precedents that we could talk about hundreds of thousands of dollars or we could talk about a couple thousands of dollars. It, it, it would be a matter for the court taking into account whether or not exemplary damages should be awarded in this case, as was done, for instance, in the case of Christine Perriott, no? But, which you are very familiar with, that Mr. <laughs>